All right. So uh, one of the hardest things to do is kind of create depth, like realistic depth in a photo. And it's kind of an optical illusion. You can see here it's all about the size of the characters and where they're placed and how big they are in the picture. And I can already tell, like, right here, like, looking at Pikachu, I'm going to have to make him a little bit smaller again because <clears throat> he just kind of looks a little weird. In the long run, what you want is to have them look like they're right beside their Pokeball and um, right beside the color they represent as far as Pokeball goes and make sure that they're not, you know, on top of each other. You know, if a Pokemon is in the back, it should be behind Pikachu, not on top, and that's all having to do with your layers here. So you can, uh, here's my Hypno. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and drop him in here, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. I'm going to put him behind me too. So I'll have a couple... Psychic Pokemon here in the back, and then I think my only other choice for my last Pokeball is either Lapras or Mew. Um, so we'll see. Everybody, I already have Mew too, so maybe Lapras would be back here, kind of chilling. All right. Remember, whoever you put in the back, you're not gonna see him a whole lot because you're gonna blur him out so much. All right. So I need to put him in back of everybody. Boom. Now he's kind of super huge, which is kind of cool because if you know Hypno. He's a kind of a psychic Pokemon, so he could be, like, really big. But for this particular photo, you know, we're going to go ahead and free transform him. And shift. Scoot him out a little bit. And scoot him up, because, again, we want him to seem like he's beside this purple Pokeball. He's got to be smaller than uh, Mewtwo. So that's kind of okay. Maybe just a little bit smaller. And I know he looks a little pixelated when you press enter, he's going to look alright. And... Yeah, that's probably okay. Press enter. And that's okay for right now. So my other, only other um, Pokemon left is Lapras. Right here. So I'll go ahead... Oh, go away. I'll go ahead and just use the um, Magic Eraser tool on Lapras here. Boom. Click, it's gone. One click. Oh, hang on. Maybe two clicks. Do you see that little piece? Right there. All right. And let's go ahead and drag and drop Lapras in here. I might switch Lapras out at the very end because it's not my favorite, you know. I mean, as far as, like, water Pokemon go, I guess he's okay. But free transform, shrink him down. He's got to be kind of tiny. And he's going to be up here. And we're going to put a shadow on him to make it look like he's back here. And we're going to put a blur on him. Alright, so every Pokemon should be um, going at an angle here, you know. Um, and going up and behind each other. And every one should get smaller than the one in front of it. Um, so right now, our picture kind of looks just like this. And that's cool. I'm going to shrink down Bulbasaur again. Just looking at it, I can kind of... He sticks out like a sore thumb. And what you didn't see when I was not recording was that I've done this like a hundred times already and shrunk down my characters because I feel like one's just kind of too big for the Pokeball it's supposed to be beside and now I feel like he's kind of there maybe right there I don't know I keep messing with it I'll probably mess with it a hundred times so what we still have left here is our text to go across the top um, and to drop shadows on all of our characters all right, so let me let me pause this real quick. All right, so now we want to put shadows on our layers, and that's kind of easy to do, but it's hard to lay them down. And if you look at the background of the picture here, we already have kind of a shadow effect kind of happening back here, and they're laying like down and to the right. So we kind of want to do the same thing. And the opacity is really light back there. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and try to do this. It's going to make our images, our Pokemon, look a little less like they're hovering. Um, so let's go ahead and start with Charmander. Double click. Say Drop Shadow. All right. We can now um, go ahead and click and drag the shadow out from Charmander. All right. And this is kind of cool. Um, so check this out. I'm just going to click OK for now. And underneath Charmander, no, notice how now it says Drop Shadow. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Create Layer. All right, I'm going to say OK, whatever that said, yeah, sure. And now look, it says Charmander's Drop Shadow, which I can now edit and I can free transform. So I'm going to hold down um, Control 
um, or Command. I'm going to hold down Command on my keyboard. You hold down Control on yours. And I'm going to grab this top square right here. And we're just going to lay it down. All right. And notice how um, I'm kind of skewing the shadow so that it goes in the same direction as the Pokeballs because our shadows are not going off to the side here. They're kind of going more like to the front and out a bit, kind of like that. And then number one thing you got to always do, once you drop this, you got to connect the feet. All right, no matter what, connect the feet. There. Holding down control again so that I can line up the feet and the shadow. All right, and you hold down control on any one of these. It does a little like perspective warping. So just make sure your feet and your shadow are good to go. I might take this out just a tad and then take this back just a bit. Well, make sure there. Make sure the shadow is always touching the feet. I can't stress that enough. Alright, so while I kind of play around with this. Uh, you get the idea there. And, um, you know, just like these shadows in the back, you kind of all want them to go the same way. And if your shadow's too much, you can always drop the opacity on the shadow a little bit, which makes a huge difference because you don't want the shadow to be um, overwhelming. You really don't. All right, so there. There's a little bit of shadow on Charmander. So now it doesn't look so weird. And it looks a little leveled, all right? It gives them a little ground. So do the same thing with Eevee. All right, let's go through this one more time. Double click on Eevee. Drop shadow. All right, now you can see the shadow. I can click and drag out from the shadow. Click OK. It says drop shadow over here on uh, underneath um, in, in effects. I'm going to right click and say create layer. Not create layer style, create layer. And just say OK. Now Eevee shadow is its own layer that I can go to edit and say free transform. And I'm going to go ahead and hold uh, control or command on a Mac and lay that shadow down. Make it kind of go the same way as Charmander. Make it kind of come out because you want to match the shadows over here. Reconnect to the feet. This one might not need a whole lot of uh, perspective warping. Maybe take this ear in just a bit. And that's kind of it. You know, not bad. Definitely going to need some opacity drop, but Boom, boom. You know, kind of something like that. It just gives your characters a little grounding and, um, you know, doesn't make them look like they're levitating, which is not what you want. Um, so now I'm going to do Pikachu and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. So I've done that for like all of my layers now. And you can kind of see <clears throat> that I have quite a few layers on top of my background now. So I'm just going to kind of go through and make sure the opacity doesn't look weird and make sure the shadows are okay. Like I can already tell Hypno is going to bug me, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. Um, but other than that, um, once you guys figure out what you're doing, as far as your um, shadows go and as far as positioning goes, let's scoot this guy over a little bit here. Make them a little bit wider. Scoot them down. Kind of like that. I don't know, that still bothers me a little bit. Something's bothering me about that shadow. Anyway, so look at everybody and, you know, make sure, like I can tell Evie, like right here, needs to be kind of adjusted. You know, Pikachu looks great, everybody else looks great. Uh, Charmander might need to be a little bit bigger. Um, and once you do this, guys, um, we're kind of ready to look at some effects and stuff like that in Photoshop. And we haven't really done that yet. So effects are going to be kind of cool, and they're really going to add to our picture. All right, but as you go back, your shadows could kind of should kind of get closer together, and now your photos should kind of look like this. All right, guys, so now to make some, like, 3D cool text. So... You know, what I did here was I went for, like, a, like, old-school 3D effect. Like, it looks like you're not wearing your 3D glasses kind of text kind of thing. 
Um, so up here you can see I did a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and trash that and start over so that you guys can see what I did. All right. So text tool. Um, when you select the text tool, it's very important. They actually look at all this stuff first and select your text uh, style, your font style first. And then you want to go ahead and select your size and all that good stuff. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Bauhaus 93 is going to be my text style for this. I'm going to say 200 is my text size. I'm going to say black is my text color. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click in here so I can go ahead and type Pokemon. Pokemon Mon. I'm going to go ahead and with my text tool still selected, I'm going to go ahead and select Pokemon. I'm going to click right here uh, with uh, Create Warped Text Effect. And I'm going to say Style Arc. All right, and this is kind of cool. So now my text, even though you can't really see it, um, has this arc effect to it. I'm going to basically um, calm that down just a bit. And you can kind of see here the horizontal distortion. You know, actually it'd be really cool if it started out big and then distorted to the back, kind of like that. Vertical distortion. You can make the P really big if you want. Um, so that's probably about it. Let's go ahead and say OK. Let's move that down a little bit. So now I have this text layer that I'm going to go ahead and double click on. And I'm going to go ahead and put a, um, I'm not going to put a um, drop shadow on it, although that'd be cool. You can play around with a lot of these things. I'm going to go ahead and do a bevel emboss, all right? And if you notice, that kind of gives this, like this um, black and, um, or gray kind of overlay here. <clears throat> and you can play with a lot of different um, options right here. So right now it's on emboss. You can play with like outer bevel if you want, which looks really cool. You can play with inner bevel, uh, which gives it this like plasticky kind of effect to match the um, pokey balls, kind of like that. And you can play around with the size of the actual bevel, all right, to give it this like reflection and kind of look, all right. And um, that's kind of cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is um, go ahead and say. Um, all of that looks pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think? Ooh, check that out. The highlight mode. Give it this like red kind of shiny kind of effect like that. Um, and it'd be even cooler if I could kind of free transform it and bend it off to the side, which I think I can. And I'm holding down control. There. Boom. Just like that. So there's my text and I can move it and place it wherever I would like. It kind of looks better probably right up over there. I can add some shadow if I want. You know, I can say let's edit this until the cows come home. So there's my little red shadow that I had in the text before, which looks pretty cool. Um, I can click OK there. And now it has this like 3D kind of effect. Um, and I have this little space right here that I, th I think I'll leave up to maybe student choice. Either either put your little mark here and say, you know, photo edited by blah, 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 um, it with uh, the text tool. Or maybe put a picture of a cool Pokeball right here. But um, I'll leave this up to student choice. You can either leave the picture just like this with your favorite Pokemon in it. Uh, make sure that you've used the text tool. Make sure you use some text effects here. Uh, play around with all that good stuff. And um, all that being said, have fun with this picture.